Hey, this is Jason with Motherboard. A few weeks ago, we were racing drones in the Bronx. Today, we're in a warehouse in Brooklyn for the world's first ever drone dog fight. We've got a drone that's shooting at me right now, I think. Um, yes, it is. So Andy, a few weeks ago we were flying in the Bronx mm -hmm. racing. What are we about to do right now? Well, we're about to have the world's first drone dogfight. And what is a drone dogfight? We're actually going to fly two drones that have Nerf discs that are able to shoot each other in midair. You are the creator of these drones. When did you decide, hey, I'm going to put Nerf darts on a drone? Uh, it was about uh, April of last year. We was playing with these Nerf shooting guns and I decided to, to mount one on there. And instead of mounting it, which looked really ghetto, I thought I'd build it in as a dedicated drone that has a shooting mechanism in it. Awesome, this is so cool. So there's a motor here and that spins and the disc gets pushed out between the motor and this block over here. And the discs are you know, in a hopper like this and there's a servo here that pushes them out one by one. You just take the discs and push them in. Who should we shoot? <laughs> I met Andy a little while ago and he's an excellent drone designer, so I think at first there's a lot of love. But it's in its infancy, all this stuff, so it's kind of like back in the day, did Ferrari and Lamborghini hang out and drink coffee before they went on the racetrack? And I think we all just kind of support each other and try and make each other better. The brilliant thing about a Nerf disc is that it's lightweight and it shoots very straight, so it's, it's a bullet in that sense. And what Andy made is, is fantastic because the friction on the disc is great enough where it actually flies in a very straight, fast, angle, so it's nice to be able to point and fire, fire, fire. The picture is it's really hard to see because we're inside. There's like a lot of a lot of interference. It looks exactly like a horror movie, like super grainy. These are not easy conditions to fly in from what I gather. I mean, there's dust everywhere. There's like hanging lights and, and stuff. It's post-apocalyptic in here for sure. Have you flown in tougher conditions than this or is this about as bad as it gets? I think you just gotta get used to the situation that you're in. Yeah. There's a lot of drone racing coming up. So, you know, this is practice for the tough elements, man. Right. You know, it's one thing to fly and fly through obstacles, but this adds another layer where you're looking at something else, flying in a different direction, and sort of just navigating by awareness. And then to trigger it, that's yet another layer of uh, complexity. So, you know, if you can do this, you can do anything with a drone. I think combat is going to be a big part of, of this sport. I think right now, uh, speed and racing is fantastic, but when you introduce air-to-air -air combat, and in a safe manner, it just is a lot more fun, you know? Uh, I don't think you can do combat with a lot of other sports. You can't do combat racing with cars, you can't do combat baseball, but combat robot flying is, is pretty awesome. Speed in robots is fun. Speed robots in combat is better.